What's up team? Happy birthday. I call you a team because if you're subscribed, you're one of my Airsoft teammates. Check down below if you're subscribed. Anyway, today we got this box of Airsoft returned items to open. There could be anything in here. Well, not anything. I don't think there's a giraffe. But there is between two and five returned items in here. We gotta open this box and find out what we got. It could be anything from BBs to Airsoft guns. I don't think there's gonna be a sniper. And to open this box, you know I can't use a knife. That's against laws of physics. I'm using this little weird thing. This was sent to my P.O. box by Adam. Adam challenged me to use the belly button lint brush for the person who has everything to open a box. I indeed do not have a belly button lint brush. I also probably won't be using this one after today. Let's see if we can open up this box with a belly button lint brush. I'm through the tape. All right, so we're through the top. We gotta get the sides done. This rounded bottom, it's not helpful, but it's still letting me. It's like not a sharp bit. I dare not use the lint brush itself. That will break. Bruh. Oh. Mission achieved, lint brush successful. Hold on, I gotta do something. All clean. All right, first in the box, we have a lot of packing paper. Time to take that out. And first thing I see in the box, large strike face plates. These go in your plate carrier. These are the big ones. They are plastic hollow, so these aren't real plates. It will stop a BB though, I'm fairly certain. These are really cool. I actually just had to order some recently for an event that I went to. Wish I had these before. Let's set them aside. Let's see what else we got in the box. There's so much stuff. Okay, first we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven barrel plugs, four mag shaped toolkits. I got two targets. Oops, one target. This is interesting. This looks like the most highest quality, bestest airsoft gun there ever was. It comes with two dozen of the finest non-polished non-bio BBs. A stick mag. <laughs> this is a pump action springer. At least it has a very decent rail on top. You could put an optic on there, I guess. All right, so that's interesting. And it is worth noting that we did indeed get a second one. So at the end of the year, we're gonna do a mega unboxing of one of every single mystery box that we did this year. So when I buy one, I have to buy a second one. I think it'll be pretty fun. But back into this one. There are two. Oh, that's my favorite one. The car arms, they are actually really nice. There's two of them, so we can each have one. Or you can have two. All right, let's see what we got. TP45. It's a spring pistol. Interesting looking. Got a very long grip. And let's see if the second one is the same. The second one is indeed the same, a TP45. You see it's got the manual, the mag, the pistol itself. So far we've gotten three springers and two dummy plates and a plethora of weird miscellaneous stuff. We gotta get back in there and see what else we got. We've got another one. This is a, a really interesting springer. It's got all the attachments. It looks like some kind of RoboCop style pistol. It's got everything on it. It shoots rainbow laser lights and it's got red and green. I don't know. Let's get into it. All right, it does look like the picture on the box. Fake sight. Flashlight, little thing of BBs. This feels very cheap. It also doesn't work. I don't know if I expected it to work, but I got it to work. And that's it with everything on it. I guess you need a grip. This has more attachments on it than a Fortnite legendary. Speaking of Fortnite, drop the creator name, C7 Viper, in the shop. Oh, I don't think I was supposed to do that. So far we've got four springers in this box. I don't know if it's worth it yet. We have to see what else we got. There are two more items left in this box. Neither of them are springers. One is this. It is a Condor modular chest rig. It's got a hydration carrier on the back equipped with all the molly, side panels of molly, and on the front is a couple of big clasps and a lot more space for pouches. I don't believe that the fake plates would go in that. That's for a plate carrier, not a chest rig. But we've got one more thing in here, whatever this is. Box gotta go. We got a ripped open bag. Somebody was really eager to get into this. This is the same thing that I started with many years ago. 
we have a black cross draw vest. I really like these for beginners because it comes with pretty much everything you need. You don't have to buy individual pouches or any of that. With the one that we just saw, it has all the molly on it, but nowhere to put things. And that's because you have to buy your own pouches and weave them on there yourself. It's really modular, like it said in the name. It's not really cost effective like most beginners would want. This is, you got a pistol holster that Velcro's on right there. You can put a speed loader in this little pouch. It does come with a belt. And if you rip the holster off, there's more mag pouches that you can Velcro right there. So this is also modular, just in a different way. Like I said, I started with one of these many moons ago. If I can find a photo of me wearing it, I'll put it right here. If not, you're not seeing this, so. <laughs> I think it's interesting that there's two vests in here. They both come in black. Pretty much a whole loadout right there. If this was 2001, I'd be set. Four springers and a cross draw vest, I'd have been the envy of my block. But now we have to take these springers out and see which one is the best. In the car, my money's on this one let's go do this <clears throat> all right we're outside i've got these three spring pistols here i grabbed one of the targets i'm gonna test how many shots it'll take from each of these pistols to knock down this target we'll start with the tp45 all right i'm only a few feet back racked pretty well let's see one shot and that actually hit pretty hard, it rang. We gotta reset and try another pistol. <laughs> All right, I got this pump action thing. <laughs> See how many shots it takes. <laughs> oh no. It's shooting to the left. Way hard to the left. All right, I hit it. Didn't knock it down. It's hard to compensate. Oh, there we go. I think that was like six shots. I gotta reset and try the final really cheap spring pistol. <clears throat> All right, final spring pistol. If this will rack, we can try it. All right, I think it racked. I hope it goes straight, but this looks like it curves up and I don't think I can fix that. Let's give it a try. This sight does nothing. No, it didn't even make it to the target. Ugh, it's fallen short. All right, that one went a little further. They're all over the place. I went through the whole mag, didn't hit it once. There is zero consistency. I don't think any of these attachments actually do anything. It's really cheap. What'd you expect? That was fun, time to go back inside. Okay, she was right. It was the car arms. Well, that was fun. A lot of interesting, unique items you don't see every day. I'm just curious as to why I got so much. It was supposed to have like five items and instead we got like a dozen. Anyway, let me know in the comments below which one of these was your favorite. I know mine. Definitely one of the little barrel plugs. Not really. And that's it for the unboxing. Thanks for sitting through it. And to prove you're still watching, answer this question in the comments below. The question is, Today's question is, what food is your guilty pleasure? That's not a bad one. I like Pez. So what food is your guilty pleasure? Let us know in the comments down below. Thanks for being here. Find us on all the socials. TikTok if it's still there. Instagram, you know, the usual places. And like this video if I made you laugh because I'll do it again with a bunch of little springers. I hope you all enjoyed my April Fool's video. No, there is no such thing as a foam airsoft gun, but... It was fun. And if you're subscribed, I guess I'll see you all on the next one. I gotta go use a belly button lint cleaner. See you later. <gasps>